very good morning to you waking up to us. This is, a, this is the, the talk show and really we are going to be talking about prevention of human trafficking because they realize that so many of our girls, the daughters and the sons of this region and the entire country move out of the country looking for greener pastures but what they meet there is totally different from the expectations and this has actually been attributed very very much there to human trafficking which is actually being attributed as the main cause and for instance where our daughters and Gulf or Middle East, what we call the Middle East, they are these countries of Saudi Arabia and the other Jordan and Oman and the rest, they usually come back with when they have not met their expectations and this is actually uh, to human trafficking where so many roles have been played that is purely that human trafficking that we're going to talk about today but really without wasting any time, I do have experts right from Kampala and other one one who is actually a son of the soil and he will be able to sort of tell us more about human trafficking and how it manifests itself and how it be prevented as well there and we shall be able to talk about that but really without wasting any time on our far left is that is Roland Musingure is the prevention of that is the prevention of is a person in charge of prevention of tra human trafficking in persons at the Ministry of Internal Affairs and really without wasting any time if you can be able to sort of welcome on board and also say good morning to you the viewer that would also really be quite quite good. You're most welcome Mr. Roland. Uh, yes uh, thank you very much. Uh, good morning to all the viewers. TV. Uh, we look forward to, 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 to introduce you to this topic. Yes, thank you so much. And he, on his, um, just next to him is Junior you know, Julius. He is the National Coordinator Prevention of Trafficking in the history of the country. And he, you're most welcome, sir. Moderator, thank you very much. I'm Commissioner of Police, you know, Junior Julius. I'm the National Coordinator. Prevention of Trafficking in Persons, Ministry of Internal Affairs. Uh, we look forward to, to use the topic and talk to the people of West Nile on the measures they can take to uh, combat human trafficking. Okay, all right, thank you so much. It's a great pleasure having you on board as well. And on my, just next to me, on my left, is one person that needs no introduction. And I believe he is the son of the soil right from West Nasa region. And he is none other than President of Police Asia Collins. And he is the Community Liaison Officer for West Nile region. You must welcome on the show as well. Uh, for Modipi, Maru uh, Bandor Asia Collins, my regional Community Liaison Officer. I'm uh, Mudia one of uh, the human trafficking. I think I'm more than common or folk. I mean, I'm a resource. All right, it's a great pleasure having you gentlemen on the show. And there's no lady, and this is a gentleman affair. But really, what affects what we, when we talk about human trafficking? I must say it only does not affect gentlemen, it affects us all because today we realize that most of our sisters and uh, brothers are victims of this human trafficking that we're talking about and we still continue to witness our daughters and sisters when they move out of the country as a result of human trafficking but they really come back when they narrate to us ordeals of what they really go through in the Middle East more so or really which have never been very very good there and when we talk about human trafficking somebody out there may not be exactly knowing what it is because people may have no information about it and definitely that is one also reason they should start with that introduction of what exactly human trafficking is. I will pass this that to, to you know, Julius and Roya Musingiro will take over that and I will also ask them also to tell us how this is manifested and how it can be prevented. Thank you. I will start with you Mr. Tuinom Juni Julius. Moderator, thank you very much. Uh, first of all I want to tell you that human trafficking is a global issue, it is a global concern. Uh, all countries are concerned about this vice. Uh, it is next to drugs in a being lucrative and therefore so many people are trafficked and somehow some are used as couriers of these drugs. Uh, then also what we should know uh, is that for people to understand what is human trafficking uh, I will not go into the legal definition, however, uh, it starts with recruiting, transporting, harboring uh, the victims through using deceitful fraud, sometimes the force is used, but what we are aware we should concentrate is the forms of exploitation, and that's when we shall know that somebody is being uh, trafficked. The forms of exploitation, mostly they include labor exploitation, they include sexual exploitation, 
they include the human sacrifice, they include human organ harvest, and mostly in Uganda, uh, some are used in illegal activities. In Arua, I am very sure we have construction sites. Even in some of the hotels, the waitresses, the waiters you are seeing, we don't know how they are being recruited, we don't know whether they are being mistreated. Some are taken out of the region and taken to other districts within Uganda. Moderator, when you are introducing the topic, you talked about uh, taking people abroad. Human trafficking takes place 90%, it is domestic. So it is around 10% which is international, and it is the one which has attracted the attention of the public through social media. The mistreatments of those ones who are working abroad, migrant workers, they need protection. Uh, with those few words, uh, my brother Asaya will put it in the language. But as we introduce the topic, we have our colleagues, uh, one who works with child and family, should be coming here shortly, uh, together with our community liaison officer at the Ministry of Internal Affairs. Then it will be able to flow properly. This lady, she's also uh, attached here at the West Nile, Arua Police. So together with our brother Asaya, they will explain in the language and the, our community liaison officer will explain at the national level so that it can flow and people of West Nile understand it better. Yes, Mr. Mishun, you are talking about human trafficking today. You realize that it is taking place even broad daylight. And this is one thing that is clearly manifested on media today. You realize that so many issues are being talked about human trafficking here and there. And really I want to understand how can we prevent this vice because today we have so many companies that are coming to also really do this labor exploitation and this is where we're also seeing this clearly manifesting itself. And maybe what are some of the strategies maybe these people can avoid themselves also being trapped in that issue of the human trafficking there because sometimes people think that the companies are the right ones but we're also being told that sometimes uh, these, uh, the, 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 these companies also play a role that in terms of promoting this human trafficking here because some of the companies have not been licensed and I believe uh, you have a lot when it comes to that issue of uh, that is addressing human trafficking within these companies there because somebody out there who is laying in the village who, is, who may want to travel feels he, needs to, he or she needs to travel with the company but yes, sometimes also these companies are said to be conduits that is of human trafficking and I don't know how you can also really maybe explain maybe how somebody can be able to know a company that is really worth or somebody that a company that is not behind this human trafficking that would also really be quite quite good for a viewer out there who is willing to travel because because of the unemployment rate today so many youths think the employment is outside there and they would wish also to travel and really before they fall victim or prey to these cases of human trafficking I believe also the information could help them in terms of identifying the companies that they would also wish to travel with maybe how they can also identify a company that is maybe behind human trafficking can start with the scams. Mm, the scams within maybe the industry of human trafficking. Yeah, uh, okay, moderator, uh, thank you very much uh, for having this opportunity in the last uh, to, to air out the really uh, issues in regard to human trafficking. Uh, now, initially, let me begin with most of the scams that people have to be so much aware about. Uh, where they can fall prey for, for, human, for human trafficking. Firstly, uh, we have uh, this goes to students or uh, secondary school or primary pupils. One, we have uh, scholarships. Most of the people are always duped or they are always uh, deceived through the use of scholarships. They are always promised uh, very big and nice juicy scholarships, uh, even bursaries. So most of our children, most of our students, most of our sons and daughters fall prey uh, uh, to these traffickers who normally use bursaries. Because when somebody comes and tells a student that uh, it has a bursary or it has scholarships in Canada, most of our children think it is true, and even as parents, we always think that that is the right thing because we want our children to get our students to get better education. So we find most of the people are falling prey uh, by, by, by falling victims of human trafficking, thinking they are going for the right thing, when it points like the, the best thing. So that's the other thing uh, the, in the means. So most of the people are deceived, or deceit means, uh, or is pulled, or is pulled into trafficking. 
secondly, uh, there are all, there's also a scam of work, of jobs, labor, because there is unemployment, people need employment, they need to earn survival, they need to earn whatever they can earn for their families. So they always go pray uh, uh, by deceiving them uh, that they are able to get nice jobs whatsoever. Uh, Mr. Moreira, you began with the, with the issue of, uh, of transnational, transnational trafficking. Most people fall prey for transnational trafficking because uh, most of our people, or most of us think that uh, there is better life abroad. That's why we fall victim. Somebody is duped or is deceived that is going to be working in the supermarket, let's say in India, and, and this young guy or this young gentleman thinks it's true and wants to go to India for a better living in the supermarket or in a certain nice and very good hotel. So, but it's not a fact that it's on the ground in India or any other country. When somebody reaches, maybe they are forced into harsh conditions, harsh working conditions, maybe factories, industries. They are ladies, they are forced into prostitution, they are sexually exploited. So these are all the different scams, all the different ways that people are always taken. So coming to what you asked, how can people know, how can the locals know that I'm going with the right person or I'm going with the, with the, player, the player company or I'm going with... It is very, it, it is, it is very easy, uh, the local person, because at our local, in, at the local structures, we always have, we have labor officers, so somebody can move from the approach a labor officer and try to find out, I have come across a certain camera, it is taking me this address, it wants to take me maybe to the Europe, it's taking me maybe to Kinshasa, it's taking me maybe to, to Abuja, I want to find out, is it really an authentic, is it really, really a licensed company? Because uh, in the labor experience organization we have, we have uh, licensed companies that, that are given the right to, to do labor externalization. And, uh, and that is, uh, and that is uh, uh, the list of gender and labor employment that licenses them. So if, uh, if, if uh, a company is licensed and maybe a labor officer, there are always labor officers in districts. You are know, from uh, Zombo, you are know, from Boko, you are know, from Maybe, and you approach the office of the labor officer. They always have these details. They can tell the person whether the company is authentic or not. Okay, let me come back to Afandia Sir now. It's been quite a long period of time I have kept him here, but let me now bring him on board. Afandia said it is now clear that human trafficking also happens even within maybe cross borders. Somebody may be, may be transported because we have seen our <coughs> girls here being trafficked even to the neighboring South Sudan. Maybe trafficking to neighboring DRC to go and work as maids, and that is still human trafficking because the mode in which they have tra maybe traveled is not very, very good. Maybe also, we have, since we have guests, somebody out there may also not be understanding what we're talking about. And maybe if you can briefly explain what human trafficking may be, what they have also explained in Luberati, may be very, very good. Let me let me soon make it. You are a man that 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 you are a so be a chicken with us that see the syrupy could say get a congressy you soon by all the music carry enjoy the level a class of Sudania a clear Congo I'm soon as any by all in Nairobi a case we have to know in Tengaro and go tell me in a judge a level can be in your near countries the Maguire the Malia they see all the I'm soon making is one to live in Sarala here you see my dear the open to in the guy that comes and over the movie Sandy Maurice the Caribbean Sarala boy I'm soon reckon it even Sandy swung it to catch all your party of course Okay, our phone. the Sometimes I did try The most cases are uh, human trafficking do El Macalafianger. A as most cases in Mozamba as you do, Bazibel Mazingamu made you, a Luzamba de Mofenelco. Then, uh, contractors, they may sign a rebecca, 
any time a milu your man And then as even a kusele si diki bamba ski ji zinga construction malia si parban to si zud malia bamba ski tarele group as a youth as ski ji we femi zinga te zinu ma bamu fesi ariyo bamu fenguare ariyo mi zinga kemo chaga ariya ba yo ba midro. Then today I'm having tea on the on the road. But by the zoo, I'm very. By the kimu there, and the kimu there, the kimu enjoy. Kimu enjoy just. Kiyo alo, I'm a mejezi ezi. Send the nangere, send the nangere. Riba me of million mudri. The agu me of million mudri. The kagu de ne. Agu de da million mudri ruko. I just felt the mini by your million mudrum in Nusu and Ved. I go to the million mudruku. Ah, hello. I can go to Naguru Masuta. I can do it in a drear park or Masuzia. I go to the million mudruku. They remove the remains on the remains on the ballet and Jordi Medivini believers. Could you see your young man? La Falam. A Falam and Lady Key Balangon. A falas bazinka. I didn't bazu means on Zemindia. A falskin in Muke, a lemuke, a facatar muke, a luminia, a muyen. So bad kimuminins or kins, eh? We diminish believe that the life has the better outside it. And the Minsuksi life has the better than you. By me, Julia, back at Sabo, I look and passport Kudura. And my travel documents, Bodute. Second, by me, confined rumors in Malia. And the third thing I took you, Nico, as could mean Ramuria eating that channel Mukako or Bikue, as could look me by your head in by your head in Illuvin Bazinco, as could not fall a bower at by your Illumidian Illuadinico, for the Lumini, Portuni, the meaning, me giving ten minutes here self sinacy, me dear Matam Bemini, Illuver local authority Nico, even sometimes Basil Kim, a family Nico. I can move your little there if I'm verbal. Okay. I made him one very level. Hello? Micha, a zeal. Michi, does it end up on your dinner? Micha, Micha, a medium of a movie, but me marry Karzaman. A carily beggar, they force you. Child marriage. A cadre, a cadre, and daily be moke and one be your man, muki a fire. Muki, my last in Garia. Then who tine ba yoyo a muki silver, ba mi confine a fadri a mi ba mi remote control. You don't have any say. Me right to you. So that also tells us of modern slavery that we're talking about today. Yes. Is it what is it what is taking place in the modern slavery? Iri ban ban mutual modern slavery. Me ni ba di mi do ba mi confine document yo a mi cho communicate ba zit ole ne ba ku eh even with the local authorities there you cannot. Communicate mm. with this. So let me, let me first bring in Mr. Roland Musingura a bit on maybe how somebody can escape from that vice because sometimes people move away from here, they do not even know what they are going to expect maybe ahead of them. Most of those who move without companies. Then we also been told that some of these our girls who fall victims maybe these bad circumstances that result could, could that could have been resulting from human trafficking sometimes also fall victim. That is because of the issue of that is also the, uh, the, 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 the mode of travel that they use because sometimes they also sneak through the porous border points or maybe through illegal means via the airport where they also being put maybe in terms of cargo but where they reach they have no maybe travel documents they, there's nothing that really shows that they traveled very well and maybe that's also want to bring you on board maybe how somebody can prevent him or herself after reaching there and finds out that really what they what happened to her or him is a result of human trafficking how can they also really come to that rescue and how can they prevent themselves from that vice and at the end of the day, how would you also ensure that their safety is guaranteed while out there already? Okay, uh, thank you, moderator. Mm. Uh, this is for people who have gone abroad and they are stuck. Mm. Somebody went when she or he was uh, deceived, and after reaching, uh, realizes that maybe it's not the expectation the person expected. There are many ways. One, uh, the person can, can, can go to the embassy, to the, to, to the embassy. The general embassy in that country where, where the person is, and she can put or he put a complaint. Secondly, uh, the person can reach the nearest place. Let's say you have to take a little bit of money, and, and it's not the expectation you, 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 you 
speak to that person, then you can approach you know this police and you can in every country there's police. When you go to police and put your complaint, maybe now Interpol can come in. If you are lucky and you relocate a uh, Ugandan embassy in that country, then that is then that's better. Then you approach the embassy and then the Ministry of the Ministry of Relations of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs here, we shall alternate with uh, Minister of Gender to establish whether you went through a licensed company or not a licensed company. Mm. If we establish that you went through a licensed company, then that is good news for you. That is, uh, the work is very easy. You connect with the Ministry of Gender, we task the company that maybe would have taken you through the Ministry of Gender and connect your, your affiliation. Okay. Now, the challenge is always with people who go on their own. People who go on their, on their own, uh, when we establish with the Ministry of Gender, we find that you went on your own, then we liaise with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, plus the, the embassy, or the nearest embassy of that of the place where you are located, so that you can coordinate your action. Okay, let me now come back to that is Mr. Twinom Julie Julius. We have companies and individuals today who are behind this human trafficking that we're talking about. You realize so many companies are doing what we call quackery in terms of also reduping these Ugandans and really I don't know what strategies that you have been maybe also doing as internal affairs because sometimes they even travel at via the means that we think are very right. They even pass via the airports, they process the air tickets, they process the visa, they process all the necessary documents. But we have also been told that they have been the ones fueling that is the illegal organ trade that is really as a result of human trafficking that we're talking about today. Because once we get this post stuck abroad, they usually tell us that they, the company is no longer responding to their calls, or maybe their phones were removed from them, their passports were withdrawn. And this is the, these are the stories that we always listen from the people who are abroad. And that is one reason also why some of them have actually come back with stories that are really very, very miserable. And also those that need not to be also revealed. I don't know what strategies that you have maybe in terms of dealing with these companies and those individuals that are behind this illegal, maybe human trafficking. I don't know what strategies that you, you as police you have also been undertaking to also ensure that these issues are addressed. And it also does not happen, and I will be able to bring me later on Afan de Asia because we have had cases from right from this region. And last year we did bury one of our neighbors, and this girl actually traveled that is to Saudi Arabia, but when she reached there, we only to come back that we, we are able to be able to tell that her organs were removed. And really, I don't know how you can also really tell maybe the people of West Nile sub region to also really avoid themselves from that issue later on. But let me first come back to you. Uh, to also really tell us maybe what strategies that you have in terms of dealing with individuals and the companies that are behind this illegal tra traveling. Uh, moderator, thank you very much. Uh, at the national level, we have a task force, and this task force composes of ministries, departments, agencies, and civil society organizations. So while you're combating human trafficking, you can't do this job alone. Mm -hmm. You need combined efforts. Uh, among the members, most of the ministries, like uh, Minister of Gender, Labor, Social Development, most uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Police, Interpol, uh, intelligence organizations, so we work together, even the civil, civil social organizations and the community at large anyway. So when a company is in any region, any district, Sometimes we expect you, the community, to give us information. There is this recruitment going ahead. And from there, when we get that information, we shall need to know whether this company is registered and licensed to do the work they are doing. Yes, there are those ones who are registered, licensed, but they are doing, again, illegal activities. They contrary to the reason why they were registered and licensed. So when this information is good, we have to verify whatever they are doing. Uh, we also have to verify uh, all the people for solo Minister of Labor before a migrant worker goes this migrant worker will be given a certificate to show that he's going legally. Now when this person reaches the other end and gets stuck normally when these companies are being registered and licensed there is what we call a bank guarantee and uh, when somebody gets stuffed, is the money we go for so that this person can be repatriated. However, other strategies which we are using, country, like I told you, countries, uh, all countries are concerned. So there is that strategy of 
having MOUs, bilateral agreements, sharing information at a regional level, and uh, uh, it can be country to country. Like we worked very well with Kenya. And like the question you asked to my colleague Roland, most Kenyans have, most Ugandans have been helped by Kenyan embassy mm -hmm. because you know, because of the East African community, we are one. So when you are stuck, don't only look for the Ugandan embassy, look for another embassy and police like he told you. So the bilateral agreements we sign uh, uh, also help us to enforce the terms or the articles embedded in that uh, bilateral agreement. And uh, among them, of course, we are trying to see that whoever goes out as a migrant work is not mistreated. Their communication gadgets are not removed from them. So that you also, we also look at how long do you work, the working hours. Mm. So those are some of the strategies we are using, but the most important one we are looking at is awareness creation. We have realized that uh, we should use proactive means so that whoever goes knows the information and he risks, he takes a risk. So if you're not taking a risk is not good, then you better not go. But okay. for, for us, we are now, like now on West Nile TV, this is why we are here, to make sure people of West Nile and Uganda that large mm. get to know that there are risks in uh, going abroad, but get me clearly, you should not misquote me. Mm. We are not preventing people from getting scholarships, sponsorships. We are not pro, pro uh, stopping people from getting employment abroad. Mm -hmm. But only what we are saying, use the right government procedures. So that when you go, we know where you are, where you have gone. How do we help you when you get a problem? Okay, let me now come back to Mr. Ronald Musingure because we are just remaining about five minutes before I also bring in that is us here to summarize the local language. And maybe, let's first tell us maybe how, or maybe one condition, somebody who is willing to travel, maybe today or in the next coming days, so, so that he or she avoids falling prey to this issue of maybe human trafficking. Because today it is clearly manifested in several forms, and really we also know, talking about the negative repercussions of how it is coming with. Because if you really look at the illegal, illegal organ trade, which is actually the main <laughs> and negative effect that is of human trafficking today, you realize that much as our youths need employment opportunities, what guidelines do you have for them? Because today at least we are having a new state minister for gender, labor, labor and so development that is Honorable uh, Balam Bargara, who has actually been appointed that in charge of youths and, and children affairs, and definitely the majority of those who want to travel are the youths because they feel in Uganda there's no job, there's nothing that they can do, but rather they want to go for the greener pastures abroad. What one guideline do you have for them so that they not fall victim as we bring on us here to summarize in the local language? Yeah, uh, thank you, moderator. Uh, the easiest, the easiest guideline or the easiest appeal I can give uh, the listeners or the watchers uh, of Western TV. If somebody is interested, maybe because you've, you've, you've really retired me in, in people who want to travel abroad, if somebody wants to travel abroad, uh, the person will worry, the person must use a licensed company. Uh, you make sure uh, the company that is going to provide you a job or the company that has got you to the abroad is a licensed by Ministry of Gender, Labor, and Development. How do you know that the company is licensed? Uh, earlier on, I talked about uh, mm. visiting the labor officer. If the labor officer is fine, you can't visit the labor officer. Fortunately, uh, maybe what we're talking about the labor officers, where do they sit? Are they at the sub county or district level? District. Yes, the labor officers sit at the district, uh, the district, at the district, uh, at the district offices. That's mm. where the labor officers are Two. Uh, the youth, because most of these, most of the victims we are getting are the youth. Uh, the youth uh, uh, access internet. There is internet communication. There is a system. There is an information system that uh, was developed <coughs> by the Ministry of Gender. For people, it, 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 it allows people access the licensed companies. So somebody can go to, to the internet and he, he puts uh, E E M. I S that is the uh, external employment management information system uh, for the Ministry of Internal for the Ministry of Gender and Labour. 
all companies that are exist are there. So some way that that's for quick people to, to, to really know that uh, uh, this is a licensed, the easiest means to, 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 to establish that. So we use that uh, system, it is in the board E, M, I, S, and it will give you all companies that are exist. Okay. So that's the easiest way somebody can All right. Tell somebody can understand. Okay, thank you for that. And really, if Afandi Asya can also explain for those who speak Lubara in the language that they best also understand, so that somebody who is willing to travel, because today I can tell you that we have a lot of our girls, we have a number of the boys out there who want to travel because they think in Uganda that there is nothing that they can do anymore and there is no way they are going to survive here and the only way to survive is move abroad and this uh, actually has also been fueled by inspiration by others really you see that some of these who traveled have also been doing well they have built houses, they have also bought plots and that is one issue that has been also inspiring a number of the youth from this region to also see that they want to travel abroad Mega Ekeocha Instead of working here with that money, I mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And in most cases, come on, I mean to expect here, but for me, at the end of the day, I'm exploiting. Secondly, by me sacrifice, but you know, by the way, they sacrifice others. And I'm a good thing, me sucks by one Jamio Ganra, by me a good jibaka. My take a youth in me, a low, a marvel, umble, a western island opportunity coming. Tell you a marvel there over me, over and bamba, and the lake is in Gaku, and the lake of the one the jobless millionaire. Melo racing the Nemumi, I work as in the local, and my money encouraged bangers local. I have an example of it. I have from Central. I have a chapter to work with Toy. In a week, I have a single Susi. 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 I have a single Instead of Josie, me from Vete, me from the Mimut, but me do the da, and Ramin Murle. I did a little Bama Kuza. And then they can't have been telling one very late. Any Bama dipped in your le, me for right channels. Okay. I look, come for me, Muzur and Boy. I am in Mungwa. I mean, why the year? Eh? And then they come for the government, you do never nickel. Eh? They come in the room. And in most cases, Bami Jiba and Vedi kill the key mean information on the Feku. And then the key me do copy, the book, even press a bit. Miji document in Bele, Miji in Bele, Sal Mumu, Natura, you soon never send you. Ah, by Mu, by your father send it. Tell your send for registration, tell your for medical, Midi Mimi, then they are busy, send the Kendaria, Kumbe, in Bami Jipi and Vedi Bangalore and Kiko. And then secondly, ah. So, 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 Okay. Alright, thank you so much Afande Asia for that elaborate explanation of local language and we are still discussing issues related to human trafficking and its related cases also because today we realize that a lot of people are going through a lot of issues in relation to that is human trafficking that is also very much affecting their lives rules. and today we have also seen most of our girls who are victims to this human trafficking vice that we're talking about and really to avoid that you can also really share your
comment as the viewer on the comment section in terms of also how we can avoid that vice there because this is something that is eating up the site today and coupled with the issues of unemployment in this country today where youths want to move away and now I want to pose that also to the new coming that is a state minister for gender labor and social development that is honorable Balambia Hagara who is also there in charge of the youth and children affairs to also really look into this issue when he's taking over that office there and at the end of the day we want to see also a society that is free from human trafficking and really that brings us to another short commercial break and we are still returning back with another set of guests as we are going to be still talking about this issue of human trafficking. Stay tuned and still continue sharing your comments with us and we shall be able to also really look into some of your comments and respond to them later on. But for now, let's first have this short commercial break. Thank you. TV lighting up the Nile TV lighting up the region. West Nile TV lighting up the region.
Nile TV lighting up the region. All right, welcome back to another short commercial break. We are to continue with the talk show that is in relation to view prevention of human trafficking because today we have realized that so many victims are falling prey into the hands of uh, people who are unscrupulous who are duping them into this vice of human trafficking which is also coming with its own negative repercussions and now we want to see how we can avoid this and then if there was somebody out there to avoid maybe also prevent themselves from human maybe human trafficking they also need to understand how this is already affecting society and i'm joined by a new set of guests and really one on my left still is not a new guest and he has been there and we are still continuing with him and that is done under the of police as he is the community liaison officer and really for our police station and we are the West Nile Regional Police Force and we are also going to be discussing that with him and we also do have a new, another guest and she is not uh, somebody who is new but really she is there from West Nile Sabrina also a daughter of the soil and that is none other than the Supreme of Police uh, the founded to Tiru Christine, the OC Child Family Protection Unit that is actually responsible for also registering some of these cases and um, maybe where we would also really uh, maybe some cases of maybe human trafficking and she will be telling us how her office is also really hit by that vice there and later on and we'll be able to she will be also able to talk about that and also not forgetting that is uh, that we're also joined by sssp that is rukuna memory and is a community liaison officer still then we shall be discussing about this vice and how it is affecting the society today and then without wasting any time if i can give them time also really to introduce themselves apart from asia who has been with us since at the beginning of the talk show I will start on my far end of left and with the father to request to introduce herself to you, the viewer, and really also tell us maybe how this vice is affecting and later on Rukuna will also introduce himself. And still they will tell us, maybe paint for us an image of how this vice is already eating up the society so that we also get to know about this in complex. You must welcome. Uh, the Wonderful. Okay, I'm also joined by that is Rukuna Memory. You're most welcome to West Nile Television. Uh, thank you so much, moderator. Um, Rukuna Memory from the Coordination Office, uh, Coordination Office of Prevention of Trafficking in Persons at okay. uh, the Ministry of Internal Affairs. Okay. Yes, I work um, as a community I have liaison. Uh, call is also for somebody who has just joined us. Maybe you can also introduce yourself to the viewer. Yeah, for I'm a Russia calling Original community lives in Southwest Nigeria. Okay, Mega <laughs> Yeah, when you have guests, you mostly most also give that is more time to the guests, and that is why I also want you to tell us nationally how is this vice also affecting the country. Uh, thank you so much. You know, uh, I'll start with uh, the issue of brain drain. Mm. Uh, our young people who are qualified, uh, who are taking co in some fields. We, I'm talking about doctors. I'm talking about ICT personnel. I'm talking about engineers. There's that drain. People are being taken uh, on outside countries uh, not to do what they are supposed to be doing in their professional work, but they are taken, they are trafficked in those countries. And by the time they come back, uh, they have psychological issues, trauma, 
uh, according to what they have they have gone through and you find that they 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 can't really practice what they the country invested in them the parents invested in them uh, to go and study uh, at universities and uh, and the several uh, institutions that are around uh, in the country so when the the area is drained of these uh, young people who are supposed to be helping uh, in the in the region uh, you find that in the in the in the near future we shall be having no people to to to, to work in the in these uh, regions where we stay we shall find we shall be having no engineers doctors and nurses okay. yet we, we 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 took our children to school mm. Talking about the issue of labor exploitation, really where could that gap be coming from maybe because today we realize that a lot of our professionals today prefer maybe going abroad to work for these fields here. Could it be maybe the gap of the government and really how best do you think that we need to avoid this issue so that we do not move our professionals to really also go maybe suffer outside rather than also them being considered here locally to also really ensure that they serve the nations. What do you think needs to be done to avoid this issue here? Uh, thank you so much for the question. The issue of unemployment is not a Uganda problem alone mm. because, as you can see, I'm sure in uh, Rua City, we have very many foreigners around. We have Indians, we have Congolese, we have Sudanese, we have Somalis. Several people even have whites. Several people from several parts of the, of the, of the, of the, of the world are here in Arua and working. Yet for us, we are living in Garua and going to the, to the other areas in search of, of, of greener pastures. Mm. So in, in Uganda, especially our youth, we just need to be encouraged and uh, motivated to work for ourselves, self-employment. Because these very people who are coming in Arua, they are, they are, they, they are not employed by the government. Okay. And necessarily, they are setting up shops. We have Indians with shops, Chinese with, 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 the, with the supermarkets. So we need to be encouraged that when you are an engineer, you start from the grassroots. Because mm. even the other side where you're going, they, have, they also have engineers who are starting from the, from the grassroots. Not, we, we, we shouldn't uh, just think about uh, being employed by the government, being employed by the big organizations, but you can start yourself as the, as the organization yourself and you grow it and it becomes big and okay. you employ others. Yes, I'm talking about uh, child and family protection, which is the body that is currently there to mandate and also ensure that these people and families are safe. And today, we coupled with the issues of domestic workers, where our girls want to move and also work outside. I don't know how, how your office is over the cases. You also be maybe paying for us an image today because we have realized that our girls, who have been taken as maids, sometimes outside suffer a lot. When even locally here, they really go through a lot, which is also a form of human trafficking. For instance, also moving to the neighboring countries, as I did mention earlier on. For instance, in South Sudan, Democratic Republic of Congo, we have also seen others moving as far as. Kenya and Somalia, this is also to go and really serve as maids. Uh, how overwhelmed is your office with the issues of human trafficking locally from Arua City here? human trafficking, trafficking. Times <laughs> Kazinga <laughs> Made and see Joconami, Mvami, I go be my bongo jizz at a bedding by the dresses of me. As a result, I mean, there's one in the care go be the key, decided to lose a Zanjako Bioko. There's one's kid to check with the last. 
ambamba e be amai ngazu mizo amanzi ri ka fe kike che guve zinga bada bada roko mi mi chi tipikaro de e ka mi ra ni chamba mi ra gabite ko ba mi tibar ka kenda me gabite ko mi ta zora mi chonta zoko le ani kira mani afa tre gera fo ko mani plan mi plan ko da mi vane va di tiki di plan be va zilo am pi igir ko sala idra go bi idimu a karule ni kadi zamfa ru de chekel se la anzi su anzi dani la ne plan ko ru bir to katro am fu ni nga ke am fu da tol a fa ngir ngir ni su di de anzi di ki zora ba chalo as anzi zo ba di ki special am tapi ke pinan ra mo zora ni ke zing go fisin ba ki send su mi ngene ko at least da am fu nga ka am fu mi ni harvest di mi jimo zi chuo nga ka re mi anzo ke de mi am fu zo mi anzi de nga ba zi do zi ba ni fa ma school fees of Afa me chandi pe amavu de ade ta ba mbo fa rutu ni se ya fa si elo ni nje bora de ovu ni ovu amave western island de de loru ikuba western island loru ika muri ne prater go andra le mi so nzi ter go ari ke chata uni da ke na mama zinda azike nga mara cha mama ru de mama zinda anga ki kobo ko mama zinda manga ki yumbe ke mama zinda azi mi ve mi ni munda anda gir ko tire de zi eduke zinga ku de tris ya fe mini nga ku to lo azi family e mi choka nyaka ha vesti mi dimozi tolu se nyaka da sene di vero fizo fe e di pongo je e di kusi e mi passo padre okay me de memu di la se avu ame cho di atingo na di ka di cho di no di atingo ame ga e o de le baba obi me tikiti di atu alu me ga le tati ti tatu alu ade ame cho di tichi ngon ne zuki ni ame cho di atira alu ame yo di atri turu me go risi mi di o risi ayo nje abu be alu abu ma nga kesi Aku mau pergi ke Asia, kuki kuki mana? Kuki bahasa itu asalnya inga. Sendi asalnya belen belen lo, sendi belen belen lah. Kyo, na parents, mati ama di kawa parents lo di. Abah sih kita ni mah parents ke kuwa? Lo kini parents lo itu dah tahu ni dah tahu sih be. Teka cia kau le, they are not parents. Asukun ama 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 pi ma pi, ma pi job lo ada. Ikin rezingo, gak ikin rezingo fisik aku. Hmm, ada ikin rezingo yang valia. Ayah, ada ikin rezingo pada zaman kes. Hmm, saya sama mati yo parents yo. Anjing yang saya sih ikin parents kifidin. Kan ini tak mungkin dia orang nera. Nera. Eh, anjing ini nol dia orang gak yesterday dekik parents kifidin, parents kira kuda. Hmm, kini mamba, eli ben orang, eli nak ikin ini, mesti ikin kuar mea. So yo dinga ma parenti lo alu ma memba nziki azinga za se sekende anziki ba fenzi ma ti skulwa anziki ki muskulwa bo ta dele value ndita afazi ndita ngon ga yo er ba war ma ti ngon asku sa se anziki ma sa se fokiti ni ma bolo ro el ki yo parenti ma ti ko Anda gross minyak zore kayu aja sud minyak itu jinnya parents biar ah afas informasi normal aja sud ding 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 mati ni yo dengan ya mati ni normal ya ni rumi yo ah yo di ding dia mampu kisasi yo di kalung buat model level aje lu tidak dream hmm ini yo aja sih kreatif di buti ni ayo kadim ni cia warubo that's when you start involved with parents. Then the community are many of our Malay religious leaders, ki elders, ki le mama, mama in mud, mama in rock and roll, can you say that? Man, you in Madrid. Because at the end of the day, I'm very many of you who pick a doctor, engineer, police, or who, but come back here, be there, but come here, say, community are very bad, they war on. So, by Mangazi, by Makovuja, by Meriwa, parents in Madrid, then office me now in Bamboo. District itu dekik. Ia mahu fikir ni. Informasi yang ada ke isu dulu. Lebih mahu dalam masa ini saya aku yang mahu fikir malay. Aku yang mahu fikir mereka korup si dekik yo. Atau mahu fikir polis yang ada di komuniti royo. Mahu fikir dalam kulit tinggi zaman. Ada. Mahu fikir dalam ini. Ikan trump palace si kamu sila pas. Ifi mahu fikir dalam malay. Bawa merisi. Bawa merisi. Bawa yang mesti ada kiri. Ia amam dia ramu ramu bamba. Aku asli ma. Leter tu azik tu, leter tu bangau azik tu mungkin fizik tu fizik tu. Ini mungkin fizik normal ini mungkin. Informasi tu yang azik tu ini ini ini. Ada sistem tu fizik tu. DPC tu fizik tu. O sistem tu fizik tu. Ah, ada PC tu fizik tu fizik tu. Ini mungkin tu informasi tu dekik. Azik tu fizik tu ada banyak mesin. 
na e ka jin fun mi sunna si pere won mi de mu te ma me encourage man you as ba mu ta nve nve de ki i don buy i afaz ki na zio gamen fene ziko gamen fene ziko gamen me yo alo gamen su provide security gamen su work on the road that's what they are doing help the mass work so as you as you do you create your job madin jelwara kin mi su ba ki dia foreigners ki mi ngi ki mo zingaria nga ki nes government ya ko e ki vini am employed there imagine e mi nyam fe e mi am fe ni ki vini mi vini ki mi send e fe te vutini ya send e te nyu bra mi ni ai spir ma baria kan ni ne ma du dia rana agu am bu spir ni cha mo pu aranda de person ndenzoni <laughs> that is in place that so many people are being trafficked in from one nation to another and this is also a manifestation of maybe the modern day slavery that we're talking about and really he will be able to tell us maybe also how best and maybe some strategies that they have been able to develop there but really I find as I say I never really explain to us that as police if you feel that you really you have been trafficked the police officers are really next to you you need to move out irrespective of who you are they're not going to discriminate or maybe say who you have come wearing slippers or maybe you're very dirty you, the clothes you're putting on are not nice go back nobody's going to send you back all you need to do is just come to police uh, file a statement and police will come to your rescue and that is one reason also he did tell us maybe what we need to do in terms maybe when, when we fall victim that is to human trafficking there and secondly he talked about the issue of young people wanting to move out of the country to that is look for that is quite colleges or maybe other forms of employment thing that there are no jobs here he gave an example of the maybe the foreigners who are in the country today uh, who are all here to work that means that the environment is still very much okay the government is effort that in terms of also creating peace and then developing the infrastructure are uh, there for us to also take advantage of so that we divert from the issues of wanting to move away from the country to really go fetch for maybe employment elsewhere but now I want to bring on the good us we're running out of time we just left with about five minutes if you can maybe also with the explain to us some of the initiatives that they have been developing in terms of also curtailing this vice and really i want to understand how companies of individuals who have been duping people are going to be addressed in line to that also that would be quite quite good uh thank you so much moderator mm. uh for the question uh number one we believe uh in prevention you know for uh for what told is for um when we are doing this sensitization on tv on radios uh, in schools, religious leaders, uh, local leaders, we are trying to inform the public about the dangers of human trafficking. You know, everyone has a right to work where they want to, to work. You can move out of the country, you can work within, from Arua to Koboko, from Arua to Kampara, from Kampara to Arua, but how have you gone? So, our, our aim is to sensitize people that before you go, before you go for that scholarship, before you go for, for that job that you've been promised in Kampara, in Kenya, in, in Saudi Arabia, have you gone through the necessary measures, the necessary steps that the government has put in place for you to move out? No one is stopping you from moving out, but how are you going? So this sensitization helps open people's eyes and ears to start questioning on some of the, on the things that they are being told by these uh, traffickers. So sensitization, that is number one, in the, especially in terms of uh, prevention. Then the government of Uganda has tried to address the issue of labor uh, recruiting companies that are exporting labor in, uh, in outside countries. You know, it is very hard for an individual to get a job. Uh, if you want to work in Saudi Arabia, if you want to work in uh, Oman, Qatar, it is very difficult for an individual to get a job by themselves. So these companies are uh, put there, they are private companies, but they are controlled by the government, especially the Ministry of uh, Gender, Labor and Social Development. So what the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development does is license these labor ex uh, export companies. They are given a license which expires after some time. So it is now up to you, when a company approaches you, to know how do you understand that this company is, is, is licensed. Uh, I alone, we have uh, we had Roland who was, uh, who was telling you to approach 
uh, the labor officers. The labor officers at, at the city level, division level, district level are the number one uh, offices that you go to that will explain to you that this, uh, this labor company is, is genuine. And after knowing this information, also go and inform other people. You know, these labor companies, they have uh, uh, a habit, should I call it a habit, or uh, a culture of moving away from the, from, from the cities, from the towns where these offices are. Others go and start now recruiting through, through individual uh, brokers. They go to, to villages, they start now uh, recruiting maids, they recruit askaris, they recruit cleaners okay. that they are taking them outside okay. right? uh, outside as, the country. Mm, as so, we run out of time, maybe I also want to bring on a fan to Christine also to explain for us now. Mega, in your big request, your bar, let's not ask you to make a record, make a cut in charm as a court, your bazooka courts were running, and we're going to go on your two lesson is looking. Get communal party in Goni, Lesunas, Kinota, Obio, Jizu, and Fagger, Kosasi, Tapi, Sipi, Kudisi, Beratran. A marvel, a star you're going to do, see, a dancing. A mobile chair, parents, Pinit, pick up in a cool, especially Angi, Fabian, and Skiffe, who sponsors Pony. A book, I mean, Vazako, Vana Temba, Mivoda, who would be as accidental F and Vani, Cars, Kuru Fizzini, and Kanazako Zangoyan, Bafemid, Bama Femvani, Kalefe Midrek, Basi direct. Okay. <laughs> Pelo alo, agu da dede keni de agu kili mi vo ku de chome vari tamba alara mi chofera asku ni kalo mafe yet mi vya senda zi fe registration te senda mi ni fe registration na mi be ododa pa zi da zaku za lepi fe pi baba dunia mi vari ba mi vene asku ni anji de duki drija te drusi ariki de ngai Uganda de drichen. Maegele Leandro sa bi vina ku azera imu pi tage kola de si lezo anzi nzazu de adzu luerwa. Make <laughs> Mm. Mm. And it must be open. Mm. Yeah, okay, thank you so much, Mr. Fandi, for that also elaborate explanation. Then the local language now I'll bring to Mr. Rukuna your final say and maybe what recommendations you have for the population as we come to the close of this discussion. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Moderator. Uh, my appeal to the community is to use the available gov uh, government offices, that is, police, labor officers, the local leaders, even the school. Uh, our leaders, headmaster, your, your nearest teacher, to get more information, to open your eyes. Don't just go blindly because someone has told you. Because the person who has the best interest at your heart is, first of all, your parents, and second, the people that are mandated by the government to work for you, to serve you. 
Thank All you right. so much. All right, thank you so much. And really, gentlemen I want, and lady, I want to thank you so much for coming to talk to the masses. Because really today we have been hit by that issue of human trafficking there, and that, that is why the issue or the need to sensitize them is very much important. And really, as West Night Television, we appreciate you very, very much for coming to talk to the nation because we are here to enlighten the region. And one way we, do, we, we are to talk, uh, maybe to enlighten the region, is also talking to the people who are affected. And really, I believe somebody who is out there and who could not be knowing maybe information about human trafficking, at least today has something that he or she has grasped that's in relation to human trafficking. Because in most times, people think human trafficking only happens. That is internationally, but now it is clear that domestical human trafficking also as well happens. And we really want to appreciate you, kept right from the time you began until this hour of the morning. We say thank you so much. Continue watching West Night Television as other programs continue.